Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about line graphs. During and at the end of the lesson, you must have interpreted data using line graphs. What are line graphs? It is a statistical diagram consisting of line segments joined end to end. It is usually used to show the change of the data over a period of time. The horizontal axis of a broken line graph is a line marked with points that are equally spaced. Each of these points represent date or time. The vertical axis is a number line representing the number of data or the frequency of data. To learn more about the line graphs, we have here some examples. In here, we have the body temperature of a baby. From the graph, we can see the changes of the body temperature of the baby over the period from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on a certain day. Based on the line graph, we can interpret the baby's body temperature over a period of 8 hours. We can conclude the following. First, the baby's body temperature at 6 p.m. is 37.4 degrees Celsius. Next, the highest body temperature of the baby is recorded at 2 p.m., which is about 38.8 degrees Celsius. Next, the baby's body temperature at 1 p.m. is about 38.7 degrees Celsius. And lastly, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., the body temperature of the baby is continuously decreasing. We'll have another example. We have here the profits of a company. From the graph, we can see the changes of the company's profit from 2017 to 2021. Based on the line graph, we can conclude the following. The company's profit is continuously increasing from 2018 until 2020. The company earned the least in 2021. Next, the total profit of the company from 2017 to 2021 is 7.5 million pesos. And lastly, the highest profit of the company was recorded in 2020. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. We have here Jared's weight from January, February, March, April, and May. These are the following questions that you have to answer. First, the highest weight was recorded in what month? Next, what is the difference of Jared's highest and lowest weight. Third, what is the total weight did Jared gain from January to May? Thank you for answering! Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!